are we making here? I see some of my favorite ingredients. It smells so good. And I see some of my favorite cottage cheese. Well, we're testing it one of our salad topper recipes mm. today. And it, they're such versatile, wonderful recipes to Absolutely. have. And great lunchtime option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I love having a little bit of cottage cheese at lunch, along with my leafy greens. Really going to give you some fiber and some protein. That's a filling lunch, but it's still light, but it's going to keep you satisfied for quite a while after lunch. And the great thing about using a salad topper yeah. that's moist and, and flavorful like ours is that you don't have to add salad dressing. So you eliminate the need for both another type of protein as well as the dressing. Smart. Very smart. Yep. So what are we going to do? So we start with a tub of our cottage cheese. Okay. Yeah. What I also like about this one is that we're going to get 60% of the daily value for vitamin D in just half a cup. And that's, that's really important, especially for women who are concerned about their bone health. So this is our Mediterranean inspired salad topper. Mm -hmm. So we're adding a lot of great ingredients that you'd find typically in a Greek salad, but you don't have to add them in the same kind of quantity that you would in a Greek salad to get all that okay. flavor. So great. a little bit of dried oregano, yeah. a little bit of garlic, Smells finely chopped good. black olives, mm -hmm. only about a tablespoon. Yeah. So Sun-dried tomatoes. Lovely, nice. Better red onion. If you're not a fan of onion, yeah. you can always leave it out. Yep. A little bit of lemon juice just brightens up the flavors. Very nice. And you know the other thing about this that just makes you think you're talking about Mediterranean foods, you might typically put feta cheese in something like this, but with the cottage cheese, you're still going to get that same great taste and the flavor, but you're not going to get all the salt that you might have gotten out of feta because this is a reduced sodium cottage cheese. It's a great alternative. Yeah. So we've got a, a, a few different ways that you can um, prepare this as well on our website. Yeah. Um, we've got an Italian version. Nice. We've got a chimichurri, which is like lots of fresh parsley and red yeah. wine vinegar. There's even a sweet one with blueberries and flaxseed. That's one of my favorite. Yeah.